I'm just trying to have a good at-bat, stick within my approach, and um, obviously in the leadoff spot, I'm not trying to do anything more than what I'm capable of, and fortunately, got a good pitch to hit and uh, put a good swing on it. The team's coming off a huge victory last night. What did that win do for the team's morale coming into today's game? I think it just uh, helped loosen us up a little bit. I think um, guys have been pressing a little bit, uh, myself included at times, but uh, when you can have a win like that, it kind of helps ease the tension and uh, we're able to kind of relax and play at our best. After a rough outing in New York against this same team, how impressive was Pablo Lopez out there on the mound today? He was unbelievable. He was unbelievable all night. Um, obviously, they let off with a double and he bared down and made his pitches and did a phenomenal job. I can't say enough of what he did. Thanks, John. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, there's John Birdie with his uh, big game. He also scored on the walk, too. So he's been, a, you know, a, a scrappy, that's what we heard about him, gamer. You need those kind of guys in a ball club. Yeah, you do. I was thinking about this on the drive down today. I was thinking in spring training, watching the Marlins play games, who would have thought playing a game, oh, in the 40s, yeah. uh, middle of May, getting toward the end of May, that John Birdie and Harold Ramirez would be in the lineup and we'd see Guerrero coming in late in the game, maybe getting a save. So you never know what's going to happen and you love to have that spark plug guy at the top of the order. Birdie's been that. Birdie definitely has been that and I know we talked, I talked to Don Manley, we were actually both talking to Don Manley about how much he likes actually Birdie being that top of the lineup just because of his at-bats, the way he goes about his at-bats. He doesn't really swing at balls out of the zone. He has good at-bats every single night, every single game. So hey, why not have a guy like that leading off? You're going to see a bunch of pitches. Guys in the clubhouse or in the dugout are going to be saying, hey, what does he have? He's going to be able to give them that info. Yeah, he works the walks, too. He doesn't strike out as much. He really does have a good top of the lineup type uh, profile that the Marlins don't have, really, when you look up. And even Grandy, not a, much of an on-base guy. He's got some speed. He's a nice element up there. Uh, the you, you got to have a little bit of everything. And I know if you need a, a bunt, Birdie can do that. He can seal the base. We saw that last night. So there's a lot of things he can do. Yeah, he's walked down uh, seven times so far. Good job for Birdie. Let's go to Don Mattingly, get his thoughts here on a nice victory, second in a row for the Marlins. You're staying pregame. I wanted to see what Pablo, how he responded, and he kind of gave you some answers. Right? He did. He did. That was a great response.